Hi guys, um, I hope you like my little game of uh, counting in several languages. My aim was not to demonstrate uh, skills, not at all. My aim was to show you um, different pronunciation pronunciations across the world. So and also um, to show you that um, uh, Asian languages are so cool. Okay. Uh, so this will be the video where I'm going to give you the answers to those languages. The, so first was Pasa Thai, Pasa Thai, Thai language. The second one was uh, Hangugol. Ha, I think it's said like this: Hangug, Hangugol or Hangug, Hangug I I don't know. Uh, Korean. The third one was Nihongo, Nihongo, Japanese. The fourth one was uh, Taiwanese, Taigi, Taigi, Taiwanese. The fifth one was uh, Guangdong, uh, Guangdonghua, Guangdonghua. It means uh, Cantonese. The sixth one was um, Putonghua, Zhongwen, uh, Mandarin. Uh, the sixth, uh, not the seventh, uh, was Dingvi. Uh, Vietnamese, the eighth language was Bahasa Indonesia. Um, it means Indonesian. Um, the eighth um, was no the ninth. Okay, I'll say number nine. That's easier for me. Uh, was Tagalog. <sighs> Tagalog. If you don't know, it it means Filipino. Uh, from language from Philippines. The tenth language was uh, Ruski Yazik, Ruski Yazik, uh, Russian. Eleventh language was um it means uh, it's a dialect spoken in San Uh and also in most of the Chinatowns in Cambodia, Vietnam, uh, Singapore, uh, but we have a lot of different accents in THU. I have the accent from people who live in Vietnam, Cambodia, uh, and people from mainland China who speak THU have another dialect, uh, another accent. People from uh, <clears throat> uh, Singapore have another dialect. I understand quite well um, you from Singapore and uh, I don't I really don't understand you from mainland China because it's so different the accent is so different I have to get used to it okay this was a little cultural um, information about T uh, THU a lot of people ask me what is the difference between the fourth language and um, the eleventh language well Taiwanese um, Taiwanese, uh, Fujian, Taiwanese, and the um, two are from the same family, so they sound quite similar. But I know Taiwanese people cannot understand fully um, the two because uh, I spoke to them in the two and they didn't understand. But I understand quite well uh, Taiwanese, so it's similar. It's like Portuguese and. Uh, and Spanish something like this okay the 12th language the number 12 was very hard for for most of you but some people found it um, I, I, wa I was quite impressed maybe they are Greek I don't know because this language almost nobody knows it uh, it was a uh, Hellenica glossa Hellenica glossa means uh, uh, Greek language it was Greek uh, 13th uh, was French, Francais, French, Francais. 14th was very, very, it's well known. Everyone uh, found it. It was Espanol. Um, 15 was very hard for, for some of you because it's not a common European language. Most of people, most of the people will learn Portuguese, Spanish, French, and German. <clears throat> also English, of course, but never Dutch. So 15 was Dutch, uh, Belgian Dutch, so uh, Flemish, not uh, Dutch from Netherlands. It's just the accent is very different. Here it's like smooth, 
I don't know if I pr I'm pronounce it right. Smooth and there it's not. It's kind of harder. It's like if you know South American Spanish and Spanish from Spain. It's almost the same difference uh, in pronunciation. Okay, the sixteenth was very easy. It was Deutsch, um, German. Seventeenth uh, also was very 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 easy. It was Italian, Italiano, and the last one, only I think three people uh, said it precisely. A lot of people told me Arabic or Turkish, Arabic, Arabic. Yeah, but which Arabic? It was Dereja Min Al Maghrib. Dereja Min Al Maghrib. It means uh, Dereja uh, from uh, uh, Maghrib. It's Morocco. Just the country just under uh, Spain okay I hope you like uh, this game and maybe I'll make an another game which is related to foreign languages and uh, have a great day